Hello and good evening everybody and welcome back once again for another video of DIY investing. This last week I've spent a lot of time with one of my best friends Dallin Anderson at High Altitude Investing and he brought up a lot of really good points that I wanted to touch up on. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some updated Bitcoin technical analysis and then we're going to be diving into a pattern that has played out every single bull market and every bear market. On top of this, we're going to be diving in and I'm going to be applying it to XRP and how the market cycle works on a time frame perspective, which is setting up for a guaranteed bull run over the next couple months. After that, we're going to be taking a look at Ethereum and I'm going to be showing with you guys a big picture trend that is following almost identically to Bitcoin. If this trend continues, it shows that within the next couple months, all of these altcoins are going to be popping off across the board and it's setting up for a lot of profitable gains to be had. If you're new and just finding this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more updates like the one in this video. If you're looking for signals or you want to follow a community that you can trust, make sure you join my Discord server. Currently we've got over 400 members and working on our 500th member goal. It won't be long before we get there and after we build this up to a certain extent I'm actually going to be stopping invitations because it will be too big. So make sure you guys get in there, click on the invitation link in the description and there you're going to get full access to my Discord server. With all that being said, let's jump right in the video today. So to start off this video, we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin hasn't really done much on a bigger time frame perspective since my last update. Really, we're just kind of consolidating and we've bounced up back within some of these resistance levels. And so I'm actually going to dive into a shorter time frame and I'm going to share with you guys my perspective from there. Now, if we dive in here and take a look, we can see that Bitcoin is really just kind of impulsing back up into this descending resistance. And not only that, but this horizontal support that we have sold through, which is now acting as resistance as well. And this black line puts us at about 7850 right around that right around that price area. And we're actually getting a rejection from that. Now, it's still possible that we can continue to bounce up higher. I'm not going to write that off as a possibility by any means. But we did sell through support and the severity of this retrace, I have already been telling you guys that I was expecting a short term bounce. And so this is kind of what I'm watching for right now. Overall, what we're seeing right now, this bullish action looks to be more of a correctional phase inside of a bigger bearish trend. And so I'm really not too focused on what's happening right now. I'm much more focused on waiting for the inevitable drop on the downside because that's kind of what I've been expecting for a while. So if we drop it to a bigger time frame, we're going to see that we had this major support. We temporarily pierced below that to hit this $7,400 level before bouncing really high. But this was the average of that support cluster, which put us, like I said, at about $7,850. And now we're kind of retesting that, only we've already sold through support, and this looks to me like a bearish retest. Now, if we claim this support level, well, if we break through and now acts as support, then I would actually be targeting this descending resistance. But all in all, guys, I don't think that we should flip major bullish until we get a clear breakout of this descending resistance because that would show that this bearish trend has flipped. But as of right now, we've sold through our support. We continue to make lower highs along this descending resistance in the bear trend. And so there's no big reason for me to be bullish right now. And I don't think that anybody else should be either. Based off of price action alone, it's looking like there is a much higher probability of bearish downside than there is actually us going in the bullish favor. So this is my updated analysis with Bitcoin. You guys know I'm still rocking with my next targets at 63, 5,800, and then 5,300. And that's actually where I'm going to be looking to accumulate this dip. Even if we bounce back up in here, I don't expect it to last very long. And I would assume that we would get a rejection before we have one more sell-off that takes us back down to these lower targets. Next, we're going to be diving in and I'm going to be taking a look at Ethereum and comparing it to the very first Bitcoin cycle that ever took place. If this pattern continues to play out, it's going to set up for a very massive cycle over the next two years. All right, guys, so here we are taking a look at Ethereum on the dollar. Now, Ethereum on the dollar looks to be following this linear trend. Now, the interesting thing about this linear trend is it takes me back to the very first original Bitcoin bubble that we ever had. Now, the interesting thing about the first original Bitcoin bubble that we ever had was just how severe this impulse came. I mean, we started about five cents and we went to a high 
of about $32. And so this was a very parabolic run. And it was one of the most profitable cycles that we ever had inside of Bitcoin as far as percent return. Now, the interesting thing that I find about this is it looks so much identical to Ethereum. Now, Ethereum, guys, if you were here back in 2016 and 2017, you guys will know that Ethereum was that driver of value inside of the cryptocurrency market. And it was really one of the best performing altcoins of that cycle. And if you were to buy really cheap back in the early days, you would have made a fortune because it literally went from a few cents all the way upwards of $1,450. And so there was a lot of profit potential to be had in that last cycle. Now, if we take a look here and analyze what's happening currently, we can see that during the first original cycle, we get added to exchanges and then we kind of sell off for this new low. Now, after the new low, we make our first little leg up, but this leg up is still within the first original cycle. We can see that the all time high of that cycle was about nine cents and we found our highest point in that leg at about seven cents. So we were still consolidating inside of that range. And we're going to make this green so it's a little bit easier to see. And then you can see that once we broke out of this range, that is really what started the impulse. And this was really our first leg up on that new trend. We broke out of the all time highs, we went into price discovery, and then we kind of sold off for our first little leg. Now, this is very similar to what we're seeing in Ethereum, and I'll go through and actually analyze what I mean. But what I'm seeing currently was this was our first little leg up, right guys? And then we retrace back down to the trend. And then that's what actually started our big picture bull cycle and what really took us into the majority of that price discovery where we broke out of that all-time high, we kind of consolidated, and then that went for the real parabolic move. And that's what we saw inside of Bitcoin in the early days. Now, what's interesting to me is just how closely this pattern is following to, towards Ethereum. And if I dive in here, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. Now, we can see that just like Bitcoin did, we get added to the exchanges and then we dump for a new low. Now, once we find our low, we make our first little leg up that's about halfway um, between the all-time high and the all-time low, just kind of consolidating in that midpoint range of an equilibrium. And then that's what really starts that next bull trend. After that, we finally break out and make our first price discovery wave up, and then we sell back down to retest this trend line. And then that's what really sets the stage for that big parabolic run. And that's when we saw Ethereum go from about $6.25 all the way up to $1,450. And it's almost identical to the Bitcoin cycle. And we can see that right here. We had this early consolidation in the very first market cycle ever, a little first leg up. And then we make our first major impulse where we break all time highs and go into price discovery. And then after that is really when all of the great FOMO and the greed takes over and prices go extremely parabolic. And it's almost identical to Ethereum. Roughly the same early consolidation. We have our first breakout. We consolidate before the real bull run starts. Now, this takes us to current day valuations. And if we take a look back at Bitcoin, we're gonna see kind of what happened. We started the bear trend when we topped out at about $32. So it would've been right here. And that's what started our bearish retrace back down, right? Now, what's interesting to me is there's a couple similarities here. During the initial sell-off, we go down and we make our first major bearish impulse before we get our first buyback. Now, this buyback was very short-lived. After the retrace, we sold off really hard, but then we finally get a little bit of bullish action with this initial bounce back up into resistance. But that's what really sets the stage for the final sell-off. And after we get the short-term bounce, we do sell off quite drastically. In fact, if we pull up the trading plan tool, we're going to see exactly how hard that retraced from that point. It's about an 82% correction. And so the majority of that retrace actually happened after this initial bounce and buyback. And that's what set the stage for new lows. Now, if we take a look at Ethereum, we're going to see roughly the same thing. We can see that we found the top of our market cycle, about $1,450. Let's make this red. And then we sold off. Now, after the initial sell off, we get our first buyback. And we can see that right here. And it's following Bitcoin almost identically. Keep in mind, no two cycles are going to behave exactly the same, but we can see the uncanny similarity that's starting to play out here. Now, after this, we end up going out for our last sell off. And this is really what takes us back down to this linear trend. Now, this linear trend is not meant to be 100% exact. It's meant to just kind of map out the similarities between the two cycles. And we can see that the majority of this retrace actually happened after we sold off from resistance. In fact, we sold off about 80, almost 
from the top of the buyback all the way back down to that lowest level that we hit. And it's roughly the same as what we saw inside of Bitcoin. Bitcoin was about an 82% drop from that point, and Ethereum even sold off harder at about 89%. But this is actually what takes us into our next stage. Now, by taking a look at Bitcoin, we can see once we hit the bottom of this bear market at about 82% drop from this green buyback box, we made our first impulse. And that was really our first leg up, but when we started to experience real accumulation taking place. And we can see that based off of Fibonacci, it continues to follow Ethereum almost to a T. And we can see that right here. We can see that we sold off and our bounce out of early capitulation took us right below this 236 Fibonacci level. Now, let's go see how that lines up with Ethereum. Let's pull up the Fibonacci real quick. From the all time high down to the lows, we can see that when we did bottom, in capitulation, we bounced up just under this 236, almost identical to what happened to Bitcoin, just right below that 236 level. And now we're really just kind of selling off from that. The current consolidation doesn't quite look as good and as rounded out as what we saw in early day Bitcoin, but there's still a lot of price action to actually have happen and a lot more of accumulation to actually take place before we truly know. But by looking at this, guys, we can see an uncanny similarity between the early day Bitcoin cycle, really the first bubble that we'd ever experienced, as well as Ethereum. They're almost following the exact same trend. And it makes total sense because all of these cryptocurrencies follow Bitcoin and they derive all of their value from Bitcoin. And so the most bullish, the most parabolic of these altcoins are gonna continue to follow Bitcoin the closest. And I've told you guys in the past that one of my biggest reasons for investing so much into Ethereum was the simple fact that if you ever take a look at the, alt, uh, the altcoin total market cap, the entire altcoin total market cap follows more closely to the Ethereum chart than any other altcoin. And so that tells me that there's more money going into Ethereum than most any of these other altcoins, which is why it's number two in total market cap. Now, what's to come next? By taking a look at this, we can see that what happened shortly after was the most parabolic Bitcoin cycle as far as just going straight up. I mean, you could make the case that this one was more parabolic and you would have made a bigger percent return, but this is a more natural parabolic swing where we do get these couple leg ups and we have a much more established trend, whereas this one's kind of just going straight up. This one actually does grind up and accumulate on this slow moving trend before we do get that massive breakout and that sends us into new price discovery. And so by looking at this guys, I think that Ethereum is headed for one of the most parabolic cycles that we've seen up to this point. And it's a really good opportunity to be capitalizing in on that considering the fact Ethereum is currently worth about $155. I don't think you can go wrong buying Ethereum at these low levels because at its peak it was valued at over $1,400. And so I do expect this to continue on into a new cycle. I don't see why it wouldn't. If Ethereum doesn't continue into a cycle, I'm honestly not going to be very confident on the rest of the altcoin market as well. But you guys know I'm a big picture bull. I'm still very bullish on what's happening with the current price action. And I'm going to continue to invest and uh, incorporate more assets into my trading plan as follows. But this was just a simple strategy and pattern that I wanted to share with you guys. I've talked briefly about how this cycle looks a lot like the early day Bitcoin cycle, but I wanted to go into even more analysis and detail with you so that you know exactly why, because there's so many different reasons for me to share with you why I think the certain things that I do. And so that's why I make these videos is to just get all of my thoughts out there so that the average person that maybe doesn't know a whole lot about technical analysis can just it, uh, really just take this all in and help it for their own trading plan. And so this was the pattern that I had to share with you guys between Bitcoin, between Ethereum and the early cycle. I think that we're setting up for a very parabolic run. And who knows, guys, maybe we could see something along the lines of this. Let me get this. Where is it? Right here. Maybe we could see something like this where we kind of round out on this trend and we go for our next leg up, kind of do the same thing. And that's what really sets the stage for the new bull cycle. Now, my guess is it's not gonna take as long as I have drawn here. I think that we'll have about a one year bull cycle and I'm actually gonna dive into a chart with XRP and ex explain exactly why I believe it's only gonna be a year's time frame. But with that being said, I think we could see something very similar inside of Ethereum. I would love to see a longer bull market, but I don't necessarily know if that's going to happen just based off of how parabolic these things move. But it would be ideal to see that. Maybe the first couple years we see this long uh, uptrend on this 
linear scale before we finally experience our blow off top but I don't know exactly how it's gonna happen I'm just kind of mapping you guys out with my thoughts now let's actually dive into the most important part of this video and take a look at my XRP analysis because I have updated my chart and I wanted to share with you guys exactly why I'm so excited about this comparison. All right guys, here we are taking a look at my XRP analysis. Now, not much has really changed overall with my analysis. It's still overall just the same exact chart. We're just still ray tracing, waiting to find that bottom before we go into that price discovery. But you guys can tell that there's a difference between these black lines. And I'm actually gonna dive in and share with you guys why these black lines are so important. Now what I've noticed, and this was actually pointed out to me by my best friend Dallin Anderson at High Altitude Investing, make sure you go give him a follow. I'll leave a link in the description of this video so that you can find his channel. But he's one of my best friends. We've been trading together since 2016. And he's really that person that taught me a lot about investing. And I wouldn't have been inside of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency if it wasn't for him. And so today I'm gonna to be diving in and showing you guys a comparison that he's been pointing out to me. And we've been talking about for about the last week now. Now these black lines, as you can see, they're all dated the 1st of January. And I want to show you guys why that's important. Well, what I've noticed is that at the very end of a cycle, whether it's the top of a bull cycle or whether it's the bottom of a bear cycle, it usually always comes around the new year or the turn of the new year. We can see that we had this parabolic run happen. It was really the first cycle that we saw inside of XRP that is important based off of technical analysis. And we have our first impulse and then almost the exact top of that happened right about the new year. So we were at 2014, 2015 rolls around and then we start our bear cycle. Now this bear cycle lasts about two years, right? From January 15th until January 17th, we can see at the turn of 2017, two years later, is when we about get that reversal. Even though we make one more leg down below that, we can see that the new year is directly correlated with the tops and bottoms inside of the cryptocurrency market, specifically with altcoins. And I'm sharing it with you guys with Ripple because Ripple is actually the most synchronistic coin that follows this cycle. And so I really wanted to share with this I really wanted to share this with you guys so that you know exactly why I'm so bullish on the next year for 2020. I think that 2020 is going to be that next big bull run that we saw back in 2017. And I think that this is going to be the most profitable year that's to be had before we end up starting a new bearish trend. And so I wanted to share this with you guys to show you my thoughts and perspective moving forward. Now we can see that it took two years of bearish consolidation before we ended up starting the new bull cycle. But once 2017 rolled around, we only had about a month of consolidation before we ended up starting that new bull run. And that new bull run lasted about a year. From the 1st of January, we can see that the very top of that cycle happened at the new year. And so January 1st is a big equivalent. We can see it was the top of the bull run back in 2014. It was the bottom of the bear market in 2017. And then it was once again the top of the bull run in 2018 or 2017 technically and now we started a new two-year trend and so just like the last cycle we've had this two-year trend where at the top of 2018 we've consolidated we've consolidated and we're almost at that turn of the new year into 2020 and that also lines up almost identically to where I had the bottom drawn on my technical analysis. I'm not really big on time frames, but this has been a very big pattern that I wanted to share with you because there is no doubt in my mind that this is correlated. And all of these altcoins are performing on this two, this one year bull run and two year bear market cycle because they're just so parabolic, they're so underdeveloped that I think that the real impulsing happens very quickly and then the retracing of the bear market is a lot longer in time. Now, the new year happens right here at the bottom of my analysis. I think that we might get some short-term consolidation before we end up bottoming roughly around that time. Now, keep in mind, guys, we could technically bottom before this, we could technically consolidate and bottom after this, just like what we saw here back in 2017. The new year turned around and then we still had about a month of downward consolidation before we really started that new bull cycle. And so I think that based off of the time frame perspective, 2020 is going to be just like we saw back in 2017. There's really no difference based off of a time frame perspective. We can see that this is following 
the consolidation inside of the altcoins almost identically. There's really no difference here. We can see that I've already mapped out my market cycle analysis. We can see the similarities of the last cycle and we can see the similarities in the current cycle, but now I'm adding a new element to this analysis and that's time frames. Not only are these cycles identical just by taking a look and a glance at them, but they're also identical in terms of the new year is a very bullish or a very bearish time inside of the market for XRP and not just XRP, but the majority of the other altcoins as well. But XRP being a number three cryptocurrency, it's going to follow more closely to the synchronicities of these cycles because there's more money, there's more development, and there's just a lot more demand inside of this market. And so we can see that the 1st of January, the turn of the new year is a very is a very awesome time for reversals inside of this market and that's why I'm actually expecting that the bottom of this bear market is going to come roughly two years after the cycle high in 2018 so with all that being said guys now is your opportunity to be accumulating into these markets you guys have seen my analysis over the last few weeks and I've just been super bullish on all of these factors and it's only continuing to increase my bullish fervor because I just see all of these signs that are showing a bull market is very much underway and it, we're very close to that point where all of these markets are going to start impulsing and if you're not somebody that's willing to accumulate while everything is really cheap you're not going to be the person making all of the uh, life-changing gains in the next cycle and so i wanted to share this with you so that you knew what page i'm on so that we're all on the same page together at the end of the day i just want to help as many people profit in this cycle as i possibly can because I know how much cryptocurrency has changed my life. To see all of these patterns playing out almost identically to the last cycle, it's really given me an extreme opportunity to teach this back to you guys. And not only that, but you guys to just make life-changing money alongside with me. Because I know for a fact I'm so set for the rest of my life based off of investments that I've already accumulated, based off of what I was able to learn in the last cycle. And now I'm going to apply it all to this cycle. And I just want to be able to help mentor as many other people that watch my channel that follow me on Twitter so that we can all do this together because at the end of the day what good is getting rich if you're not helping somebody else do the same thing wealth just trickles down and I've always been a firm believer of that and so what I'm making is all just gonna come back down to you guys full force I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my analysis I'm gonna be talking about my personal trading plan and I'm also going to be working on a course that's actually in the process right now. This video course is going to be covering everything that I know inside of crypto. I've spent thousands of dollars and hired multiple mentors to help teach me how to actually profit inside of cryptocurrency. And now I'm actually going to be taking all of those useful skills, all of that knowledge that I've learned from all of these top analysts, and I'm, be, and I'm going to be creating a course to share it back with you guys. This is just a way for me to get some of my knowledge out there. I want to focus on this full time with being YouTube because YouTube is really my big passion and I want to be able to help mentor you guys through this next cycle so remember if this is something you're interested in drop a message in my discord server you can find the invitation link in the description of this video leave a comment if you're somebody that's interested in this course and because you want to learn more about what it is that I do to profit inside of cryptocurrency I also have my email in the description of this video so that you can contact me on virtually every front that there is and that I have out there for the public to use anyways guys thank you so much for tuning in today's video i will catch you in the next one as always peace out